sorry I did a I've got a bit late this morning and um, it's been the same ever since the computer's telling me I'm not yet live so I don't know whether I am or not coming up live on your own Dolly yep now just now Okay, got it. Alrighty, welcome, welcome. Sorry I'm late. Um, I have a project here that I started a while ago. Sorry, it's been going to reach across the screen, and it's this one. Okay, nice. We're going to start with that one. So, what I thought I would do, because I've been wanting to do these for a while, I've got an Astra and Anne kit. It's the cushion cover. Now, um, <clears throat> this comes with a felt cushion front piece and back with a pre-inserted zipper. How cool is that? You can embellish um, the front or back as you desire and, um, and this allows for a 10 millimeter seam so that we use a quarter inch seam but you could use a five eighths of an inch or whatever you like. It also comes with some pins and um, it does come with the felt obviously so the felt to make these and it also comes with these so if you wanted to do some hand sewing sewing or you want to add this to it you've got the pins needles as well i should say so the actual kit i can't tell you off the top of my head because i don't have the price in front of me anymore and i'm just going to find it for me it's right down there no it's not there it's there somewhere it is there somewhere Hello. might be behind those round things so Dolly's going to find it for me so you can, um, you know, I can see some of you watching. How much? 35. 35. There you go. So it, I'm just going to zoom it back a little. You can see all my mess behind me. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? So this is the back, or front, I should say, and the back has the zipper already done. Cool is that? Look at that. Already in. So I don't even have to do that. All I have to do is sew this baby together. So if I want it all grey and nothing else, then that's all I have to do is put front to back and sew it. But I'm going to decorate the front with something I've already made and some black fabric. So that's this one I showed you before up close. And then I'm going to use the back fab black fabric top and bottom. So I'm going to move my camera just down here so you can see what I'm doing and playing with. There you go. I'm just fiddling. So if you're on board, say hello. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, and then my machine has just come back from servicing, so she should run a treat. Now, I'm going to sort of center this and to center it, I need my tape measure, um, which I'm grabbing right now. There it is. <laughs> Actually, Dot grabbed it for me and threw it at me. So, <laughs> um, lots of little bits of fluff on this, but they'll go away eventually. So, I just want to make sure, measuring that, it's 18 inches and it should be square, which it is. And I'm going to then measure this, which is 10 and a half, which means I've got a half inch seam. So 18 inches to um, uh, take away 10 and a half will leave me seven and a half inches, which means three, uh, what is it? Three and two, th three and one quarter inch. So I need to be three and one quarter from the top or bottom. So there, all right, and then along this way, measure along that way. So it's 15, so 18 minus 15 leaves one and a half. Hi Donna, how you going? So then I can move it so it's one and a half over. Now you can, um, as you can see there, it's one and a half from there. This should be three and one quarter, so I've just got to make sure that it's level. Good luck, yep. And seemingly square. Now I'm dropping things. I'm going to get those pins that came with it. Mm 
Okay, that might help. A couple of those. And they're big duty pins. They're heavy duty so that they will, um, three and one quarter is going to put me just there. Hi, Carol. Haven't seen you online for a while. Hi, Denise. Hope you're both well. One and a half from there. So you can see I'm measuring. So I want to place a pin in there and make sure I go through all those layers. Then I'm going to come across. My sewing machine's in the way a bit, but that's all right. We'll just do that. Needs to move up a little bit that way. And, and that's, you know, saying that my, my fabric is square. <laughs> it's highly possible it's not, <laughs> knowing me. Um, and just there to there. Move it down a fraction there. And place a pin in. And double check that we're still one and a half, which we are. Turn it around this way. Now, in theory, everything should be level. If it's not, I'm just going to sew it in. Because I, I won't have time. Oh, that's four and a bit. So what did I go wrong? So it must be you've got 18 minus um, seven and a half. What did I say before? No, ten and a half. My 18 minus ten and a half leaves seven and a half. 18 that way, double check. Yep. So 18 minus 10 and a half leaves 7 and a half. Divide that in two is three and three quarters. So why have I got four and one quarter? And that up there. Or have I done it wrong? Anyway, I'm going to get my calculator because I don't trust it. it doesn't seem to be doing. Yeah, you've been busy. All right, so bear with me. 18 minus, um, 18 minus 10, 10.5, 7.5 equals, divided by 2, equals 3.75. Oh, that's why. Oh, you silly woman. Oh, my God. <sighs> See, this is why I sew, because I can't do maths. <laughs> Try again. So go up there, move her up a bit. Thank God for calculators. All right, pop that one there. Make sure it's same on this side. Yeah. So these Astronan kits, they come all ready. All you have to do is decorate, which is part of the fun of having them, um, and then sew together, which I think is brilliant. It's really good felt. It's really good wool felt, um, and it comes with all the pins and needles, anything you need to do it, and always, always, zippers and pockets or anything like that in these projects are always included in the kits. I'm just double checking my one and a half here and here, which is good. Sorry, just touch my microphone. And flop. That's better. Now we're cooking. Sorry. Just pinning this down onto it. So I'm going to treat this like a bit of a, um, a, bit of, a bit of a quilt as you go type thing. Just to need to make a panel. To, I just need to make it. Yeah, absolutely. That's all you have to do. Is so so easy. But I am going to after I stitch this all down, I will come back and stitch around those flowers to just push that down a little because otherwise it's going to be too baggy. Yeah. All right. So I love these pins. I use these on my long arm all the time. So when they give them to me, I keep the rest. <laughs> I don't ever get rid of them. So, okay. Now, now I've got that there. I've got this bit of fabric. It's a percale that was left over from a bolt. So I'm thinking um, that I need to do um, top and bottom and then sides. Uh, no, maybe sides and then top and bottom. So... I'm going to literally 
pin that down there. Now, realistically, you'd measure that out, but because this is a piece of fabric cut from off the end of a bolt, I am going to just so hold that down there like a quilt as you go, not quilt as you go, like a crazy patchwork type thing. Take those pins out and sew down that line. Now, you will need to, right, yeah, just get that pin in. You will need to use your walking foot, all right? So I've just got that pinned in there. So I'm going to stitch and flip, and then I'll do the same to the other side. Um, and then I'll trim off that excess because I need, I will need a ruler and blade. So I'm going to move the camera. Just over here, back to the machine, and bring that in just to there. So the most amazing thing you'll find out about my machine since it's come up is actually clean. Because <laughs> one thing I hate doing is cleaning unnecessarily. <laughs> So this should absolutely stitch like a dream. So let's go. And you know what was wrong with it? I had, there was the cut I needed um, replacing or fixing, but I had so many cuts in this, this plate, that it was within millimetres in that little bit there. See that little bit, light, tiny little bit there? It was a millimetre away, one hit in the needle away from actually um, snapping the needle plate. <laughs> See, I told you I'm bloody buffed when it comes to my sewing machine. So forward and back because I just want to make sure that's stitched down nice. Wow, that's going fast. So <laughs> Yes, I did see the doctor. Listen to her. She's beautiful even though she's going through all that amazing thickness she's going through a quilted lot as well as the felt plus the black fabric and she's just kicking it kicking it all right so a bit on this way a little bit of reverse there and and do you know what else it did for me it actually cut the thread and you know what else it did it threaded the needle how exciting was that so i'm going to just fold this over and you should be able to just see what I'm doing here. My blade and ruler, which I think I just buried. And missing, literally, using my ruler to push that. So I can feel the edge there. I'm going to cut past that, and I know I'm doing it a bit rough, but I'm okay with that. As Dottie knows, she hinges at me all the time. She's jumping up and down because she's just done <laughs> a part of the pattern. I'll show you that. I'll show you the borders. Um, if you're not used to that kind of border, it's a bit tricky. Can I have um, my red handed scissors? Yeah. Um, so I'll show you it in a minute. Thanks, Lydia. So she's jumping up and down. She's very excited because I showed her how to do it and this is the first time she's done it. It worked perfectly. <laughs> so, um, she had a couple of goes without instruction <laughs> and, and had to come back. <laughs> had to come back to me. <laughs> uh, yes. So I've just pressed that over with my hand and because now I've got this cut the same you know the same length I can literally just place it there and I haven't sewn this down yet the the white one underneath so I haven't sewn that down at all I have literally just pinned it in place I think the less seams I have at the moment the better and make sure whatever there's a bit of salvage there but it's going to go into the seam, so I'm not overly stressed. And pin it down. There we go. Zoom in. Whoops, wrong way. Zoom in, baby. Oh, look, I love it when my machine is working like an absolute dream. She sounds beautiful. I must ring him and tell him. 
he'll tell me what a mean person I am to my machine when I ring him. What did Wendy say? Did she say? <laughs> she didn't. She'll wait for me to talk to him. She'll, she'll wait for, for him to tell me off. <laughs> Oh, listen to that tick along. Nice girl. So now I'm going for a fairly basic border. Um, it is basic. It's not fairly basic. It's a plain black border because the design is so full on. Right? And I'm pretty much thinking this might end up in the daughter's bedroom. So I'll just say that. Fold that over just like that and we're going to do the same thing but this time I don't have to start in the middle. Sorry, just playing with the camera. I can't see because my screen on my computer has decided to glitch. There we go. So we're just going to press that over. Finger press. I can see because I've got the bottom I'll come out a little bit more. Whoops, wrong way. Wrong way. There we go. All right, so push that over and just give it a bit of room. Good half inch. Now, that's that. The two sides are on. I think that's all pretty good. I don't really need to cut that off. I'm just going to make a mess. There we go. A little bit of a salvage off. Wild mic filters out the machine sound. Yes, it does. It's, yes, it is. Yes, um, he fixed her. He always does. He's brilliant, I tell you. He is an amazing mechanic. Um, and uh, he does work wonders, I can tell you, Michelle, as you know. But he will tell me off for reading my machine. Yeah, it did. It froze, didn't it? It's just been a right shite today, this thing. And I've got to go live for what's the name again today. And if it does this later, I'm going to cry. Okay, so I'm just pinning that down on the outside. So if you notice, I've just put a pin either end just to hang, hold on to it. Because what I'm going to do now, if I can get this camera to zoom out, this is as it goes yep nope there it goes a bit more so what I'm going to do is actually stitch along here with the next bit of black so I'm going to put it on my lap so here it is here now I know I could have measured it like I said but I know that this bit this is going to be wider out of just one piece of it but you can see here, like there's a number 108. I don't like that. That, that freaks me out. So I'm going to go this side and just line her up there. Turn her around. Oh, were you waiting in classroom one? Yeah, that's a four o'clock today. Four o'clock. Deb? Or are you waiting for another class? In, are you doing a different class in classroom one? The video is playing up major, right. Um, yeah, okay. That's not going to be good. I'd be really peeved if that happened. How was the video earlier? Was it all right when I was on the phone? Or did it glitch and carry on? Right. So if you notice, I have just gone all the way across one side and I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut off a bit of my excess because it will irritate me underneath the machine being too much. I know there's a pin there so we'll move it out of the way. Just um, get that out of the way there. And I'm going to stitch along 
this line here from top to bottom and then I'll trim off these little excess bits. Oh, it was good. Okay, Michelle, that's good to know. I might use my phone later on, even though it'll be back to front. All right, so, oops, base. Put down, move it down. Just move this across. Yeah, I was on my phone before. So that's good that it was working all right. All right, there we go. So we're just going to sew this down. Um, I've started sort of off, off it and I don't want to hit one of those big needles or pins because they are quite huge and when you do hit them it makes a messy noise. Um, Oh, you know why I'm having trouble putting this through? Oh, I just realised I don't have my glove on. My hands were, I'm like, why am I, why is my hand hurting? <laughs> there we go. She'll go like a dream now. Oh, get my lovely super duper gloves on. Oh, the stencil class is perfect. That's good to know, Rado. So I think I will use my phone next time. Although every time, every other time I've used my phone on those classes, it's always played up. And I thought, well, I'll use the camera. You know, that should work really well. But saying that today, I'm thinking maybe not. I know, yes, I'm using white thread on black fabric and I don't care. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> it's actually a light grey, not not. not uh, Space wrong way. There we go. All right. So, just with scissors, because it's going to be too hard for me to um, bend that um, felt back all that way. So, I'm just trimming off a bit of excess there, just it doesn't need to be there. Um, not that it would make a difference if you did leave it in, because there's um, plenty going on. All right. Now, oh, you missed this morning. Oh, it's um, it'll be in my videos on the on the business page, so you won't miss it. Miss it. It'll just be um, you'll be watching the replay. All right. So, placing that over, nice and finger pressed nicely. All right. I can feel that it ends there. So. Up. ends there so I need to make sure that I come a good half inch past that and give myself plenty of room watched on playback it was good yep I've been in my in my chair watching videos all day so far good on you way to go I don't think there's anything wrong with that if you can do that righto well, I take my hat off to you All right, so I am doing this sitting, just so you know. <laughs> um, that's why I look awkward. There we go. Takes that one off. Gone well past. You see? Turn it around the other way. And I just want to double check because there's a little, little bit of a thing there. That's going to go past. Yes, it is. So that on there. Um, just to reiterate, if you missed earlier in the piece what I'm doing, it is the Cushion Custom, custom cover um, from Aster and Anne. So this is it here. And I am basically covering it with the project that I did earlier this year or last year. And it has everything in it other than the, the, um, the actual piece of decoration. Um, but uh, it's it's uh, made from that really lovely wool felt. And if you've had one of these kits before, you know how nice they are. And, well, you know that that piece I did to, this morning, Rado, that would go really nice on one of these. Yeah, 
just thoughts. The housework uh, is glaring at you. Oh, yeah, it'll be there. <laughs> it'll be there tomorrow. It'll be there the day after. Meh. Meh, she says. All right, so this is really thick to get through because of all the stitching and it's bending those really solid pins. So you can just imagine how thick that is. Now, I tell you what, if you're ever looking for a really good machine, go for the upgrade of this is because I don't no longer have any more of this one in the country. This is a 14,000. Um, Janome Memory Craft 14,000. If you've got a spare nine grand or 12 grand, I think they are the new ones or something, um, these are an absolute gem. They embroider, they do everything. Except for the dishes, I was really disappointed. <laughs> um, I was lucky enough to get mine for a good price. Um, it doesn't always happen, but I did. But the new 15,000s, um, I'm not sure on the price exactly, but I'm sure if you bring up statewide sewing that they would be able to tell you. And I know for a fact they do lay by. Um, and uh, they're pretty they're pretty good with uh, that sort of thing. So if you need a lay by, it's all good. And the girls there will help you. Wendy from Ballarat is um, pretty good. If you tell her you've spoken to me and I've sent you along, She'll look after you really well because she knows um, she knows me very well. <clears throat> all right, so let's just trim all these little fluffy bits off. So the camera. Let me go look on the lounge cushion. Oh, you. <laughs> So, you know, if you've got um, grandchildren or something like that, you know, kids of that age, those sort of um, projects like I did this morning, oh, we're going to be coming close. That's going to go in the scene. I'm happy with that. We've just come close. You can see just up the top here, but that is going to go in the scene. How lucky am I? No worries. Did it just freeze? Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. Off again. Off again, okay. So what I'm going to do, hey, mm -hmm. check yours because, yeah. yeah, it'll be me. It won't be me with the sound. So I am just going to I'll go the other way for some for some pocket change for a new machine. <laughs> oh, is that what you meant? Are you dag? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you mad woman. <laughs> so I'm just... Um, Pressing or finger pressing and, and tweaking this as far as I can to the corner. Yeah, it's just a bit of spare change, isn't it? But, you know, worth its weight in bloody gold, this machine. Um, now, I know I've got the pins on this side. I am going to sew from the other side so I can see what I'm doing. And I'll swap them around in a second. But I just want the this to sit flat. While I when I turn it over, yeah, just a lazy ten grand or so. You know what? I think if now with this machine, I mean, if I didn't have the the business and all that, this would be probably the last machine I'd have to buy. I reckon if I didn't have the business and sewed like a mad woman all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so I've turned it over and I'm just pulling out that pin, holding firm and putting in on this side so I can see what I'm doing. But he did say to me, the lovely, lovely Lockie, he did say to me that with my last machine, I had done enough work on it. I had it for four years. This is back when I had it for four years. Enough work on it um, that's equivalent to eight years with work. <laughs> so um, I reckon, and today Dottie is actually working on it. They had a conniption where 
I <laughs> think that the uh, the memory craft, brilliant machine. They personally, I love the memory craft, but majority of all the machines in genomic are good machines, even their little cheapy ones. Um, so yeah, you can't go wrong. Personally, I've not had any trouble with any of my genomics. Zooming in there, there we go. I am going to do a base stitch and I'm going to do it sort of, let's put that down there, needle down. I'm going to change the length to about four. Take that pin out. Again, I've still got my walking foot on. I haven't taken that off yet. And I'm doing about a quarter, um, sorry, an eighth, an eighth of an inch roughly. I am going to do a larger seam because I, um, I want to make sure that I catch it all. And rather than cutting off of that, just turn it and go down the other sides. Now, because it's felt, it's sort of a little bit um, I wobbly, you know, it's like heavier, so it tends to pull to one side. So these, these gloves make an absolute difference. I reckon, Reda, if you are going to upgrade to anything, you'd be looking at, because you don't have a long arm, do you? You'd be looking at a long arm. That's where you've got to upgrade to. Or embroider, well, this is embroidery and plain sewing, or straight stitching and um, decorative stitch. So, but you've got decorative stitch on yours. If you've got an embroidery machine, then you laugh them. And some people do say having your machine, your normal everyday machine, separate from your embroidery machine is better. But these these are made so well, I've never had a problem. And I think that was its first service in about eighteen months. I don't. <laughs> It hadn't gone for one for a while, so which is my fault, as you do. There we go. So we have this sewn onto the front. Okay. Now, before I go and sew the front to the back and all that, I really need to stitch down this stuff. So um, first of all, I'm going to um, trim these extra bits at the back and sides, I should say, moving my machine over a fraction without sitting it on my phone. Um, yes, long arm is next, but weighs off. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like Janome will have um, a 20. I'm upgrading, or oh, not upgrading, I'm getting a second one. It's coming soon, apparently. Um, sooner than I was expecting, but anyway. Um, and once that's going, I'll have that and the other one, and that's a 21, and that's a Finique from, um, what's his name? Um, Hans, yeah. So, Grace Company, I think, the Cunique. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting that one and having a good old play. Um, and that was a pretty good price for the whole setup with computer. If you don't need a computer and you love doing free motion, it's a hell of a lot cheaper. All right, so at least you can always add on the computer later, I suppose. But like you say, down the track, girlfriend. All right, so 
that's the front of it. Now, while you're having a look at all that beautiful stuff in front of you, I'm just going to quickly change my hood over. Back to free motion. Change the setting. Get that over that side. Maybe in the middle. Yep, that side. All right. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. Come over here and zoom in. Come on, zoomy, zoomy. All right. All right. So let's see if I can move this in a little bit closer. Oh, look at that. Getting cozy. Getting cozy. There we go. Okay. How much are the gloves, Michelle? Um, are they one size fits all or different sizes? They are definitely one size fits all and they are 42. Um, ask the girls, let the girls tell you what they think of the gloves. They will be honest with you if they don't like them. Oh, body's in the background. <laughs> Unsolicited, of course. I have not taken yours, you stole mine. There is another pair up in the, the um, okay. I've got two pairs. I have a special oh, pair. <laughs> I have two pairs because, well, I lose them. <laughs> and because sometimes the girls might come and they've got to come to work and they've got to do something. Oh, wrong one. And then they've got to do something and I need the gloves, so we need two pairs just in case. So that's the emergency pair. Um, while I'm getting this done, it's black spread. So the thread that I'm using today is just Rosant. Just the Rosant thread, so $8 a reel. They're 1,000 metres, so that's one kilometre for those who don't know. <laughs> just the same. Um, I'm leaving my bobbin in because I don't think it's going to come up through, to be honest. Um, put the foot. Raise the needle bar. Okay. Try again. Ooh, threading. Love my machine. Never worn any, but knee, yeah. Look, honestly, it makes you put your hands down flat, Wendy. They, the girls will tell you. Rado uses them now. Um, some of the other girls on the on the live might be able to tell you their opinions. Um, I find it helps me with my hands, and I notice as soon as I don't have them, um, it 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 hurts. So I prefer to have them on. I love this foot. I can angle her up and get a little bit more of a gap. Push it down a bit, just a little bit high. Well, that wasn't really that expensive for a service and um, so anyone else online at the moment who has the quilting gloves? Who else is there? Hang on, let me just have a quick look on my phone, see if I can see. Um, Rado, yep, okay. So Michelle Armstrong, you've got a pair of the gloves, don't you, love? Denise, I think you've got some. Karen Porter, Jill, Evelyn, anyone else? Can let Wendy know what it's like to use them. So all I'm going to do here is gloves are great, really, really help your hands. Yep, they help with my um, my tendonitis and uh, my shoulders. Keeps makes me keep my shoulders down because I've got to have my hands flat to use them. What was that, Dotty? It's, yeah, it wouldn't sit and sew without them. Says Gidget. Hi, Gidget. Um, yeah. Uh, Dottie just said it helps everything slide and manoeuvre underneath your hands there, underneath the machine. Yeah. There you are, unsolicited advertising. So I'm not being super duper perfect. Um, I'm just sort of going around those 
flowers just gently because I don't want to go stuffing up your pattern either. So if you do have something that you want to attach to these pillows uh, covers or you know you've made it like this you can stitch you know quilt on them you can anything you like really um you can just put white paint uh, white paint, white fabric on them and then paint the white fabric like i did this morning you could definitely do that um i actually know people who use these gloves for driving I oh, know <laughs> um, yes yours are on the way Denise yes um, because it helps them grip the steering wheel just a wheel or wheel wheel so um, I know I know someone who bought them for their son who rides motorbikes and yeah so it's not just the one thing whatever you need to get a good grip on whether it's life or just a motorbike or a sewing um itchy hot full coat oh yeah can't i can't no i can't wear those white gloves um, anymore i struggle now to wear the purple ones which i loved as well and still do love but i do struggle with them as well because they cover my whole wrist as soon as my wrists are covered i got hot flushes happening all over the show um i did have those compression ones crinkle yes no i can't wear them they're way way too hot for me the only thing you might get is a bit of a, a hot sort of spot under your, your palm, your hand. But what you will find, and the girls will um, agree with me on this, is that you they get so used to wearing them that you forget they're there. And then the next thing you go, go you go to the bathroom or something, or you go inside, you know, to the kitchen, and you forget you've got them on. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, and then the next thing you've, got to take them off before you go to the toilet you've got to go out of the toilet and go and take them off so that you can go to the toilet because that would be just gross just saying buddy don't wear my gloves in the toilet just let you know i'm just going to go around the leaves because i reckon that'll help um don't be bipping at me these are the same gloves i wore i bought um, oh, they are comfy and they're Velcro. Um, and these are the same ones I bought 15 years ago. So I've just ordered another 100 pair of them um, in from the uh, people who make them. And they come from um, the company is in Puerto Rico. So they're not trying to make, just saying. Um, and uh, they get then they get shipped through America. So, all right, one more to go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Is the foot on your machine in an extra or come with it? Uh, this foot? No, uh, this foot with this machine came with it. Um, but you can buy them extra. And they are always, they make them, I think they make them for the large and small throated machines. I'm not too sure. These, these um, adjustable feet. I know they definitely have it for the larger throat, the, the nine inch, nine inch, nine mil. Yours, and yours is a seven mil? Nine, yeah. I'm not sure whether they have you have these about, I'm not sure. I'd love to say yes, but I can't 100% tell you. Um, but yeah, if you're wanting these, they these are, and they come with a set like a round one and this one, and then uh, the other one is like a, 
So round one, open one, and is it like a ruler, a ruler one, like a high one? Uh, no, that's the disc you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I have to have a look. Yeah, but they come with, I think, three, and then you just attach them onto this. But they just screw on. There's a little screw there, and you just screw them on and swap it over if you want a closed foot or whatever. So, all right, so I've stitched those on. So they look pretty coolly dooly and I'll turn over so you can see where I stitched. Oh, hang on, zoom out, baby. There we go. Say that, oh, little square one, yay. Yes, I have that foot and love it. Came with my machine. I love the foot, love, love, love the foot. All right, so there you go. So you can't even really see the bobbin, it's white. All right, let's then take this back over here. <laughs> Zoom out again. While you're looking at the pretties, I am again going to change my foot over. We are so close to finishing this. I just talk too much, sorry. <laughs> Probably could have got it done half the time if I shut up. Um, yeah, the adjustment side of it, Wendy, is really, really handy because when you're sewing or when you're quilting, I don't know if you notice, um, but it tends to push down the fabric. So, yeah, the thin, flat, open foot, yeah, that's the one we're talking about, the other one. Um, so when it pushes it down, it means that you've got too much gap between your foot and the, the plate, like the thing's too much. The gaps too much which is that's when you start missing stitches and stuff so this actually having that little screw on the side of it allows you to adjust it so here it is there's the back that's the uh, right side but leave the zipper half to three quarts open I, I'm leaving it three quarts because it's quite stiff for me to pull that through so, right sides together, girls. And then I think I need to adjust the wrong way, as far as I've got. And then just move that back a bit so you can see a little bit more. So, right sides together. Now I'm just making sure that I haven't got the zipper going the wrong way. I want it to go the same way as the pattern. And line up your corners. Now, and you're going to do a seam. I'm going to do half an inch seam because for me, that means I feel safe with this just because um, it's so thick, I don't want it to come undone. So just a handful of pins. I don't over pin. You're welcome to use more if you want to. Um, I tend to only over pin or pin a lot when I've got 30 million seams that I've got to, you know, make sure they butt up or whatever. So we're going to go all the way around. And if I do a half, half inch seam, that means I'm going to miss my stitching, like the, the basting stitch to hold on the front piece. So one, I'm just doing one on, there we go, one there, so it's a little bit wider, a bit wider. So. so I'm going to turn it around. I reckon that's dog snoring, I can hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's zip on over here to the machine. So the picture's being good now. That's nice. So I can see that this is not even. And that over while you guys are looking at my machine. Yep. It's just that one little corner. Bear with me. Right
Oh, you keep losing sound. Maybe I'm moving too far away. Rabbo. Hang on, let me move. The on the computer. There we go. I moved Magic Mike. It should be right now. All right. So. I'm going to move my needle to the centre, needle down, I'm going to go forward, I'm going to have to give it a bit of a sharp to start and that's not half an inch so I'm just going to cut that off. So that's the centre, half inch is here, so let's start here. So, half inch, yeah. So I'm using the half inch mark on my um, plate. That's my half inch mark there. And I know that comes in a bit and you can always trim it off. But just because it's thick, um, yeah, I just don't want it to have such a short, small seam. Yeah, I bet it is because I, I just moved Magic Mike over to where he should have been. I'm just going to lift that up, move it around. Yeah, it's going to be needle up. I'm going to come over a bit. Move it too far. Needle down, forward and back. Just so my seams nice and been good to me. Edge. Wild Mike certainly does. Yeah, Wild Mike, well, he does, doesn't he, Ratto? Magic Mike, Wild Mike. <laughs> if you could see him, if no one's seen him before, he's like a. Actually, it was funny the other day when um, Chewie was here and she was, you know, mucking around. She's seen Magic Mike or Wild Mike, whatever you want to call him. And she's like, ooh, toy. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> she wanted to play with him. And Becky's like, oh, cool. She wants to play with him. I'm like, no, it's not cool. <laughs> Here, she's not allowed to. <clears throat> Cheeky bugger she is. So I've just done a bit of a back and forward where the zipper meets there. Again, don't run over those massive pins. We're almost there. Yes, he looks like Wild Mike from the barn. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> uh, he does. Well, she thought he looked tasty. <laughs> she was like, woohoo, there's a toy for me to chew on. <laughs> Becky thought it was hilarious until I lost my sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, <laughs> it's expensive, somebody dog toy, I can tell you. Okay, one last thing to do before we turn it around. Down here, and zoom, oopsie daisy, wrong one, zoom out, Maybe there somewhere. E Got my fabric scissors. Okay, this is Magic Mike, everyone. So that's him there, little hairy head. <laughs> now you must trim your little corners out, all right? Don't forget, don't take too much off. 
So take enough off that when you turn it around to the right side out, that full amount of strife trying to get this to open up. So once you've done that, I'm going to zoom it right out. There we go. I'm going to pull this right way around. So one corner, the other corner as well. Bear with me. We'll have a bit of a wrestle. <laughs> That's the beauty of this um, wool felt, isn't it? It's so sturdy. <laughs> It's really um, sturdy stuff. There we go. Oh, we're all way around. <sighs> oh, exhausted. All right, so we just got to push these corners out. Turn around. Yeah, if you go sticking a pair of scissors in there, you know what's going to happen, don't you? You're going to go through those corners. So if you've got a purple fine, you can push out those corners nicely. So if I have my scissors poking in there, chances are I'm going to go through. So I am going to give it a go with them. But you can see, I have done this a few times with scissors. Um, but if you do have a purple thing, it's preferable you use that because things go wrong when you start poking scissors into holes. Dottie just gave me a look. <laughs> Don't pretend that you're innocent. <laughs> you what? You who what? The wearable triangles. Hi, here for five minutes. That's all right, Judy. I'm just about finished this. I'm going to show it in its full thing in a minute. And this one corner. So this is the Astra and Anne cushion cover kit comes with everything I have not had to put in a single zipper that's it now do the zipper up get rid of a random thread turn her over and she's done there you go that's my pillow cover look zippers in already I don't have to do that there you go all ready and raring to go so I did find a use for that. I know I was going to use it in other things, but I end up using it in this. Because I reckon that my daughter would love that in her room. So a couple of little hairy bits to cut off. Thank you for joining me again. Appreciate your time. Um, I think the next one is at four, uh, and that is in classroom one. So I will see you there, hopefully. And we are going to do, I think it's butterfly tangle off the top of my head. All right, butterfly tangle. Yep, we're going to do butterfly tangle. All right, so I will see you guys there and then. Um, I'm just going to move the camera a little. There we go. Get to see it all. Nice. Yeah. Looks nice in real life, I can tell you. I think I'm looking on the screen going, yeah, whatever, you know, but it does actually look really nice. So there you go. Amaze balls. Thank you for, again, ladies. I will see you guys soon, hopefully at four o'clock at craftalive.com. You can join in there at one, uh, four o'clock um, classroom one for a butterflies tangle workshop. See you then. Bye.